In this video, I drive a Lamborghini. Improvise something and use one of these. Sort something that's a bit of a mess at the moment. Hope something doesn't kick off. And gonna cut this wire. It's Dad Vinci time. So as I did with the previous solar generator, I wanted to put this new 372 watt hour one through its paces. And being at home for a while now, and a while longer, I wanted to sort of see what it could do. So here are my first five things that I've used it for. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Oh, I need to improvise a pull-up bar, so I'm gonna use one of these, one of these sanding machines, and I've got an old broom handle here, so I'm going to take some of the uh, nasty bits off and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it. and smooth and ready to use. Right, the loft's been raided. I've got all the uh, fans out that I've got. Uh, they're all a bit dusty, but I'm uh, going to use this for the test now. So we're going to use them in their lowest settings to begin with to see how they get on, then put them up to the highest setting and uh, finish off in oscillate mode. So uh, no better way to keep cooling the summer than using solar power itself to cool you down. So uh, let's kick off. Time to switch on the AC inverter. And go, the beeps. Okay, they're all on ready to switch on now. And let's uh, start the process. And five. Let's see if I can get this so you can see this. On the camera. I'm hoping that's visible in there. Again, the reflection's pretty bad, so sorry if you trouble seeing this. That's pulling 163 watts at the moment, so let's go and switch them all into high gear. three right it's all now on the highest setting ah, it's pulling some watts now hoping that's in in the shot there it's pulling again i'm hoping you can see it's 217 watts 218 watts now Right, so I'm going to put it in oscillate mode now and see whether we can push that even higher. And five. Right, so all oscillating away now. Let's see what we've got on the battery. Can you see that? Two hundred and thirty two hundred and thirty-four watts. Hour and ten minutes left at this rate. Eighty-four percent battery. So again I'm hoping you can see this. Apologies for the terrible reflection on this. I'd say that's a successful test. If we used to plug in the I can hear the fans come on now on the let's see if I bring that over. I can hear the fans come on. So if we was to add the solar panel to that now, that would take a bit off that and make it last a bit longer. 
so a successful test and let's draw in nicely. I like driving in the garden. So uh, I need to try and tackle my garden which is in a bit of a mess at the moment so I'm going to stream some of the longer grass now uh, to see whether I can make it easier for myself when it comes to mowing. So uh, let's give it a shot. So oh, there we have it, there's my trusty uh, Bosch trimmer, so you can see that, you can hear the uh, battery is uh, switched on at the moment and uh, yeah, I just cleared some of the big stuff out of the way, all the way around the garden, just take some of the lost, long stuff out of the way. So now it's uh, time to get on with the actual mowing, see you on the flip side. With doing a small uh, repair to a dry joint today using my soldering iron, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how it works or if it does indeed work with the solar generator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this wire. So I'm going to save you the uh, pain of watching me stripping this particular wire. So I'll get that done, get the soldering iron and the solar generator set up. So I'll be right back. Right, one wire stripped and uh, ready to go to tin the ends off uh, with solder. So one soldering iron here, one uh, solar generator here with the AC switched on. Now time to plug in. So I'm hoping you can see the display. I'll plug this in and then show this to you. And that should now, let's have a look at that. I'm hoping you can see that without knocking the soldering iron off. So it's pulling about 48, 47, 48 watts. So I'll try and leave that in shot there for you as we go through the process. So let that, I'll put a new end on as well. So we're ready to go once this is um, warm enough. So have my uh, solder here, and I'm just while that warms up, I'm just going to just twist the ends off a bit as well. So that's uh, smelling like it's warm enough. So again, I'm hoping you can see all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm the first one up. Let's warm that up there. Give that one a bit of heat. 
I'm not an expert solderer by the way, so just doing this for the test just to show you that it's a solar generator so effectively soldering. Let's get that nice on there, let's get a bit on the end. That's it, perfect. That's it. It's only a small scale test, but there we go. Uh, not, not the best in the world, but as you can probably see, all uh, ends tinned off now. So I say that's a successful test. Soldering using solar power. We hope you liked our video. All the links you'll need will be in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned to DaVinci. Yeah.